Hi, my name is Melanie and I'm a meteorologist here at Meteomatics. In this video, I will show you how to use the great capabilities of our API. To be able to use it, you need a Meteomatics account. Simply go to our web page and to the Weather API menu. And here you can choose between an API package or a free test account. If you go with a free test account, you simply need to fill in this form at the bottom of the page with your name, email address and company, your industry, country and the preferred language. Hit send and you will shortly receive your login details for the API via email. As soon as you have your account, you can start using our API. So let's see how that works. In general, the URL for our API query has the following structure. The link starts with api.mediomatics.com, followed by a valid date time where you can specify a single date or date range. The next part of the link are the parameters you're interested in. For example, precipitation or temperature. You can find all available parameters in a menu here on the left. The next part is the location, where you can either query for a single point, a list, a grid, or even a polygon. And it is possible to query the data in different formats, for example, XML, CSV, or JSON. And finally, you can add some optionals to the link. Let's see how that works in practice. The first link on our website queries the air temperature in Berlin at the current date. If it is your first query, you will be prompted to enter your login details. Simply put in your username and password, sign in, and you will receive immediate access to our API. As you see now in the plot, the query delivered a single temperature value in the image. In the lower left corner, you see the CSV file containing the valid date and the temperature two meters above the ground in degrees Celsius in Berlin. We can also extend that query a bit. So let's choose a time interval instead of a single point in time. With this link, uh, we query the temperature in Berlin starting today for the following three days at an interval of one hour, showing a nice graph and in the lower left corner now a list of temperatures according to the valid dates. You can also extend that query for a much longer time span. So let's start at the 1st of January and go until the 23rd of December. And let's choose an interval here at the end of one day. And you can see that we now have the temperature curve for the whole year in Berlin. One can also change the parameters in the query. Therefore, simply add the parameter you're interested in here in the list in the URL. So take, for example, the precipitation, which is called precip. At a one hour interval in millimeters. And the API will add a line to the plot and the values to the CSV file down here. So the additional black line is now the precipitation and here, the second column is the precipitation. You can also deselect the temperature, for example, to see the precipitation more in detail. And you can add even more parameters up here in the list in the URL. So far, we queried single locations, but you can also choose a whole grid. So, Let's remove the time span again 
and choose today's date, which is the 22nd of July. And let's say we are interested in the temperature only. So remove precipitation again. And now to obtain a grid, you have to change here the location input. The first input is the upper left corner in latitude longitude of the grid. So for example, 48.5. The second input is the lower right corner, for example, 43.15. And then you add the desired resolution, for example, 0 0.02 in both directions. And now you see a nice picture of the Alps containing the temperature. If you want to work with the data in another format, you can change simply the output format here in the URL, for example, to JSON, and you get the data as a JSON file, which will render in a bit, or you choose, for example, CSV, and you can download the file as a CSV file. If you're still unsure how to create URL, you can also use the URL creator tool on our website. It will guide you through the process on how to define the URL correctly. So let's try it. We start with the output format. In this case, I want to choose HTML as a map. And now you see, you can here, for example, define a resolution. So I will change it, click next, and then I can choose the location. You can put anything here you want, either a city or a country. I will put now in Switzerland, click next. And then I choose the parameters. So here predefined are the temperature parameters, the different ones, you can choose the height, the unit, but you can also choose different parameters, for example, cloud cover or precipitation, whatever you want. So I will stick with the temperature, go next. Um, here you can then choose the date and time which is now the current date and time, but you can also choose a series. And in the next step, you can choose as an optional, the weather model. In this case, um, the Meteomatics mix is selected, which always gives you the best data source for your chosen time and location, but you can also choose between all the other weather models. So let's stick with the mix and see what happens. So now you can either copy the link to the clipboard or you open it directly in your browser and you get a nice image of Switzerland containing the temperature in every different location.